What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we are going to be checking out the basics of variables using C++ in Unreal Engine 5. It is going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out my new Unreal Engine 5 course with Game Dev TV on how to make a full stealth assassin game with blueprints. You will learn how to make a whole bunch of different mechanics that will turn you into a pro Unreal game developer. This course will supply you with all the resources and assets that you will need. So you can check it out right now through the link in in the description all right so first of all let's create a simple actor class so let's go up into tools new c++ class and in this case let's select actor now it doesn't matter if you did create the project using blueprints from the uh, epic games launcher it will automatically convert your project to use c++ so don't worry about that let's click next and just name this something as just toot for the tutorial it doesn't really matter okay and now let's just uh, click create class and now there we go we have a uh, visual studio open so uh, we have two files we have the header file and the c++ file i go more into detail on my kind of uh, beginner tutorial on how to use c++ in a real engine which uh, i will be tutorial which i will be linked in the description but basically in the header we will define all of our variables and functions and then in the c++ file actually implement the logic so let's go to the header file and under public we are going to be defining our variables so if we go under public it will make sure that we can access the variables from other classes and for just the sake of this tutorial it will be okay so the first thing i'm going to do is uh, define what type of variable we are creating so let's just start with float as you may know floats are used basically numbers with decimals okay so in this case it can be whatever number we want so that is the type of variable that we want to create and then we need to uh, define the name in this case it can be used uh, float a right and then we are uh, going to be uh, just adding an equal sign and just um, setting a default value uh, this is optional you can directly just close the line like this with a semicolon but you can add a default value for example five and now we can just put the semicolon so we have defined the first variable but the thing is that this will only be internal to the class i mean it's public we can access it from other classes and so on but we will not be able to see it on the details panel or anything like that so this is where the u property tag comes in so just above our new defined uh, variable we can just add this u property tag and just uh, say it to edit anywhere and this will allow us to see this variable from our details panel because we have said uh, that we can edit this variable uh, from anywhere in our uh, you know project so let's go back into unreal engine and now we can just click this uh, compile button to well compile the code now this might take a bit longer or a bit shorter if it's the first time you're compiling um, it shouldn't really take a lot, so let's wait a few seconds and we should have to go. Live coding succeeded, all in green, that's what we want. And now we can just go into our C classes, search for our toot, and then just go ahead and drag in toot into our level. Now, you will see that it disappeared. No, it's actually in the 000. And that's because it doesn't have any component with a location attached. So that's why it goes into uh, the but that doesn't matter we're not interested in visuals today we just want to see that we go our variable in the details panel as you can see flow a is five and we can put whatever variable we want okay so now let's go back into visual studio and let's cover two more variable types so the next one that we're going to be checking out is going to be the integer okay it's basically just whole numbers so we can just put this to be like my int okay and we can just put this to be by default at i don't know use seven and of course for the flow a we could put uh, i don't know 5.5 right we could put decimals but for integers we can use whole numbers and once again if i want to be able to access this from anywhere i can just go ahead and just put the edit anywhere okay um and with that said we're good to go now if we compile we'll see also that enter but let's check that uh one last a simple variable type which is going to be of course the boolean so we type bool we can uh, set the type now a name in this case what name do we do is my bool <laughs> work and then we can put this to be true or false as you may know from branches in unreal or uh, 
booleans in general for coding in C sharp and Unity or whatever, booleans are true or false. And once again, I can just add the uh, tag, right, to be able to see it in my details panel. So now if I click this button to compile again and just wait a couple of seconds, you will see that we will um, be able to have our new variables in the toot in the details panel as you can see. So now we have flow A, my int, and my boolean with a checkbox. Cool. So now let's make one thing and it's going to be adding uh, some uh, variables together. Okay, some simple calculations. In this case, let's do it with some floats. So we have float A, so let's go ahead and create another float, which will be just float B. And this other value will be something as, I don't know, 7.3. Nothing crazy. Let's put a semicolon over here. And once again, we can add the U property so we can see this in the inspector with edit anywhere. Okay, so now that we have the variables defined in the header class, we need to go into the C++ file to actually implement and uh, the logic and use these variables. So in this case, let's go to the gameplay, which is when the you know game starts, and let's make a simple uh, addition of this uh, two floats. Now let's create another quick variable, which will be the one that we're gonna be um, actually outputting, right? But in this case, we can create a local variable. A local variable is use a variable that will exist exist in a inside of a short piece of code like for example a function or whatever and as long as it uh, goes outside of the um how do we say the screwy brackets it will just uh, it will not have more of a lifetime so we could create a new simple float which will be the output value right and it will just be zero at the start but now we can just do the sum of the two values so we can do uh, that you can, you can say output value will be equal to well float a plus float B as simple as that and now this output value will actually have you know something inside but of course now what we're going to be doing is just uh, just print this on the uh, console so we can see the value so we can just type u log and we press enter you can see that it had you know has filled filled all the arguments and that's because I have an extension but if now you can just copy all of this code and we can just plug in here the sum of uh, float a and b is you know some uh, double columns how, it's uh, how you say it and space and now we want to pass our output value variable as a parameter so we can just put a percentage symbol and say f because we're passing a float and now aside of the text function we can just put a comma space and now pass the value which will be output value okay don't worry about this this is uh, not really included in the tutorial okay this is just uh, to print the variables into our output log in this case the output value okay so don't worry about that we're interested in the uh, to addition and um, you know variables itself so let's compile and now you will see that we will be able to see the uh, variables um, updated well we didn't really do any changes but we just have more things so we go flow b and now if we press play okay and go into the output log you will see here the sum of flow a and b is 12.8 there we go <laughs> it worked our code perfectly worked and it's looking great so we basically went ahead into the header file and defined all of our variables with the type the name and a default value and then we said uh, that it will you know we will be able to edit anywhere uh, in the details panel on the thread this variable and then in the c++ file when the game starts and the gameplay we were just gonna create a local variable that we can use to save the addition of flow a and b and just then make a output log to see the uh, you know result so that's it guys if you found this tutorial helpful or really shit you can like the video and subscribe to my channel my main focus is mainly blueprints but if you want to see more c++ tutorials let me know in the comments below join my discord server check out my new course of game dev tv on unreal engine 5 and now yes, with all I said, bye bye.